Welcome to the Warframe Weapon Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Baza. You can get the blueprint for the Baza from the Tenno Lab in your dojo, and it does require 4 miles, some cryotake, a few alloy plates, some ferrite, as well as some credits. The Baza is a Matsuri Rank 7 primary rifle, or submachine gun actually, that does fairly low damage per shot, most of which is in the form of puncture, followed by impact, and then some slash on the side as well, and it has very high crit chance with fast fire rate and decent status. Now, one thing to bear in mind with this weapon is that its range is fairly limited. Your damage starts to fall off at 22 meters, which is this far away from the door. And by the time you're at 34 meters, which is this far away, you're only gonna be doing 50% damage. Which honestly is a bit of a bummer, because the weapon is very accurate even in full auto. And just one more thing, this is actually very cool, the weapon is completely silent. As far as the build is concerned, I think your best bet is gonna be going hybrid with heavy crit investment, viral and hunter munitions to get those extra slash procs, and even though I personally like to run Argon Scope to get super reliable crit chance, you could go with bladed rounds instead to further multiply the already above average crit multiplier. This build performs surprisingly well, and it's just a combination of the high fire rate, decent status and really good crit and it will happily take on even some of the beefiest enemies at sortie level. Just bear in mind that you don't want to go beyond those 22 meters when firing at something, because as soon as you go beyond that, you will start rapidly losing damage. Though, then again, you can actually increase the effective range of the weapon by adding in projectile speed into the Exilus mod, because even though this is a hitscan weapon, it will still increase the effective range. Now, aside from damage, the weapon, I wouldn't really say has terrible ammo economy. It consumes ammo really fast, true, but it's actually difficult to run out because of how much spare ammo you have. Though that's of course only gonna go so far, so if you want to do some longer missions, some endless stuff, I would recommend some form of ammo mutation with it. Also, out of all the weapons in the game, this one feels the tightest. It handles like a dream. There is almost no recoil and virtually no screen shake whatsoever. So it feels very precise and for me anyway, it makes it very easy to hit headshots. It just feels great. So when you look at the weapon as a whole, it's actually really solid. Is it the best weapon in the world? Absolutely not. There is even a better version of it, which we will take a look at in the future, and it's the Baza Prime, which is just a straight up upgrade. But it's a great rifle with awesome stats, and you should 100% pick it up and give it a shot. The main downsides here are its somewhat short range, the damage distribution, which is definitely not ideal, and of course the high ammo consumption. But luckily you can fix these pretty well with the right mods. And that is pretty much all there is to it. So as always guys, I thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, and I will see you some other time. Bye-bye.